So let's actually now go through the podcast platform so you can understand where the show name that you've just created and the show artwork you're considering has got to work. Because I mentioned it a few times in those training videos about the importance of being clear and concise and to the point, etc, etc. And I talked about the fact that you haven't got much collateral in terms of where you spend your time on the screen to stand out from for, for your ideal consumer, your ideal listener. And now I'm going to show you exactly what I mean in real time. So let's go through now. So if you've got an iPhone or if you've got an Android, I suggest that you get your phone right now and go to your podcast app because we're going to walk this through in real time. Now, there's loads and loads of podcast platforms out there, but we're just going to focus on a couple of the most popular ones. We're going to look at iTunes, which currently accounts for 45 percent of the market in terms of the podcasting space. And we're going to look at Spotify as well, which currently at the time of recording accounts for between 20 and 25% of the podcast market. But that is fast increasing. So we've got to make sure that our artwork and our show name, etc., works on these platforms. I'm just going to walk you through these two most popular platforms so you can understand why the artwork's got to do what it's got to do, why the show name's got to do what it's got to do, etc. So if you have got an iPhone, then go onto your phone right now and click onto the purple podcast button. I've got my phone in front of me now. You obviously can't see this because I'm sharing my screen, but I'm going to walk you through this in real time as well. So if you click onto your uh, the podcast purple button, you will end up on the iTunes homepage, which is the browse category. So you can browse from here. You can look at all kinds of different weird and wonderful sections and subsections of the iTunes podcast ecosystem. So as you scroll down, and again, do this in real time because I think it's useful to understand how the system actually works. So you've got, you'll probably have new and noteworthy up at the top. Uh, at the moment, at the time of recording, I've then got uh, Black Lives Matter, curated content, find your new favourite, top news sources all in one place, pandemic coverage, the Premier League is back here in the UK, obviously based on which country you're watching this video in, it, you'll obviously have different categories as well, these curated categories, keep the kids busy, curated collections, new seasons and top shows. So as I mentioned in the previous videos, you have not got much space to use in terms of where people find your show or how the artwork will appear. If you look on the browse category, though, on, on this sort of home page, it's, qu it's quite big. You know, you've got two main, uh, you know, new and noteworthy, for example, is most likely to be the top category that you could see. You've only got two images there, so it shows up in quite a decent size, to be fair. But if you go down, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of your phone, near the bottom, you'll see these top episodes and you'll see top charts and those kinds of categories there. So if you click into top episodes and then you click into all categories and then you can look at all of the, the 19 categories we've talked about in previous videos. And you can choose whichever. Let's, so let's go for music, for example, in this instance. And on there, you can see how small that artwork is. So you can see it on the screen here. So the top charts appear really, really small. So if you look at the third one down, for example, that is um, Radio 4, Friday Night is Comedy Night or Friday Night Comedy. Now, I only know that because I've recognize the BBC logo and I've, I've obviously looked at this picture quite a number of times but if you look there for example with the the fourth option down uh, the QI elves I can't see a single word that that artwork says I can't see the show name I can't see anything so actually in terms of a podcast artwork that's not a very good example of how to do it so again, make it clear and concise and easy to understand and easy to read because there's not much space. Get on the right hand side of those two images that you can see on my screen. So the, in the business top shows, it's quite a big image. So you can actually read that most of the information on those on that screen, even though you know some of it's still quite small. But if you look in like the top charts, for example, you've got no hope of reading anything more than really the show name and, and potentially the presenter's name. That's about it. So you've got to make sure that your podcast works onto those on those platforms. What you can see now is actually um, Spotify. So Spotify, again, we've mentioned this in previous videos, that they have got, by and large, pretty much the same categories and subcategories. They might just have dressed it up slightly differently, named it slightly differently. Um, you know, sports and recreation instead of sport or news and politics instead of news. Um, originals and exclusives, that is a curated category that's just on Spotify. But in the main... What the platforms are having to do is they're having to work with these third party providers. So in shortly, we're going to look at the main place where you will upload your content to just distribute it to all the different platforms, which are called Libsyn. Now, Libsyn will work with iTunes. It will work with Spotify. It will work with Acast. It will work with Google Podcasts, etc. So all the platforms pretty much by and large, they have to make sure that the categories and the subcategories are the same pretty much with a slightly, you know, maybe they tweak the name slightly so that it works on the majority 
for the majority of third party distribution softwares, which we're going to go through. So again, this is probably why iTunes is for when we're launching a show, we focus on iTunes in terms of chart positioning and curating content and social proof of social media, etc. Because the podcast charts on Spotify look a bit poor at this point in time. So iTunes is a much better platform. If we just go back here, you know, look at that top chart as opposed to that top chart, you know, which one is more engaging. So that's why we're going to focus on iTunes for the launch of the show, because again, at the moment, it's the biggest player in town. And also in terms of their charts and their curated, their curated categories, they're actually a better platform at this point in time. So let's walk through that now. 